Good evening, I'm Melissa Balaam. And I'm Yana Mishritsky. A, a UNLV student is missing and his father flies halfway around the world to search for him. We'll hear from the father tonight. The Rebel Yell is in financial trouble. We'll tell you why. And it's rush week on campus. What are the pros and cons of pledging a sorority or fraternity? We'll find out. New Center 4 is next. noticed that the Rebel Yell's first issue of the semester didn't come out until last Tuesday. But did you know that the, Re that the Rebel Yell was having financial difficulties? New Center 4's Ethan Forheads has more. What's wrong with this picture? We're into the second week of school and still there's no paper. Is it due to the financial woes that are being rumored around campus? I asked Rebel Yell editor Nick Haley. Oh, it's certainly not rumor. I mean, we, there is financial difficulty right now. However, we have amended our budget to fit into the spring semester, and if all goes according to plan, which it is thus far, we should be fine. Even though the L is experiencing financial problems, Haley says a lack of funds is not what kept it off the presses last week. It was instead a contractual problem with the printing press that couldn't be ironed out over Christmas break. There was no contract for the first week, and we were unable to make the change. The controller's office uh, John Purvis, the controller, was gone, and we were not able to make an amendment to our printing contract, which would have allowed us to print in the first week. Former Rebel Yell editor Tony Yanos was receiving severance pay. I asked Haley if it was a factor in the Yell's financial difficulty. Yes, he did receive severance pay last semester. It terminated, I believe, December 14, and he's not receiving it anymore. That contributed somewhat to our financial trouble. With this incident behind him and the new budget in effect, Haley has a positive attitude and believes the yell is on the right track as he begins his first full semester as editor. It's going pretty smoothly right now. I have the staff behind me that I need. We're getting good support from the communication school, and things are running pretty smoothly right now. Haley says from now on, the yell will be distributed consistently. So look for your copy every Tuesday and Thursday. For UNLV News Center 4, I'm Ethan Foreheads. Copies of the Yale can be picked up at the Student Union and most other buildings on campus. 